bales out of the way. Oh, hello! What is going on, fellow farmers? We're back here on Farming Simulator 2022. We're just collecting some of these bales. Going to keep them nice, stacked, and tidy. Here, just getting into the winter months. But we don't forget to feed our cows. Uh, there is another one. Maybe it was that. Yeah. That's not a bale. That's just grass. But we're here, once again, on the off-grid dairy survival challenge. Our cows are doing swimmingly. Oh, I missed a bale. Oh, I missed three bales. This is what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to take it and just push them all over. There we go. I'm happy with that. We need to cultivate our fields, both of them. I'm not going to harvest the straw. I'm actually going to turn that back down into the soil. We also have the harvest, or not harvest, bring all of our corn to the market. Because as you can see, I have seven extra pallets inside each one. Should have seven extra pallets inside each one. So hopefully with the sale of all that, as well as cultivating, I should be able to have enough money at the end of this episode. That's our plow. To be able to buy possibly another field. I believe we were looking at field 56. Was it? Yeah, 56 is 53,000. We may end up being able to have enough money for that. Uh, I'd like to stay closer here, but the only way I'd be able to do that would be able to, would be to sell this field off. I feel maybe like 20 or 21, but even then, I'm almost almost tripling the value of what I already have. I, I don't really foresee myself being able to do that. I could sell this, but then I would be selling my cows, and my cows are actually kind of important for this whole series. So I'm not going to end up doing that. Just nothing in this area is just... It, it, it's not as cheap enough to be able to afford to sell off one piece of property. So we're going to end up having to buy Field 56 this winter, hopefully. But, no, I don't want to bring the trailer. So I disconnected you. But we're going to start with doing the cultivating. And we're going to start off at, at the other field. We're not going to start down here. So we're going to take a nice little stroll. I missed a bale. Uh, just when you think you had all the bales, you just missed one. It happens. I'm also going to have to make sure I bring some more food over, or some more grass over to my cows. You can hear them moving. That kind of sounded like a sheep. I don't have no sheep. I got cows. They move. So we'll get on down to the other field. We'll get all that cultivated in. We'll come back here, cultivate the field down here. Get everything feeling just right. I don't have I don't have a beacon. Sorry, buddy. I don't have four ways. I don't have beacon. I don't have nothing. You're just going to have to ride back there. Nothing I can do. I would like to also upgrade to another tractor, possibly. Uh, I haven't really looked at them just yet, but I'm definitely going to have to upgrade to something a little bigger. I really like this, and I'll probably keep this for moving my corn around, if I'm able to. Uh, Money-wise, that's all going to be dependent. Like I said, it, if you look up at the corner, I do have $24,000, which is helping, but that was left over from this past harvest of all my 
products. So we're going to get on in here. We're going to get into a time lapse. I know I want to get a bigger plow, but that's why I kind of want to get a bigger tractor because, or well not a plow, a cultivator or a discus. Because all I'm able to do with this tractor is this small little cultivator. So, while I carry around this field, I'll just go right onto right into a time lapse, and uh, we'll come back when we are all done selling the corn, and hopefully we have enough profit to be able to buy another field, maybe even get a tractor. Who knows? All right, guys, I'll catch you all on the other side. market and as you saw on my right on my way back coming from my last run 
it did start to flurry and now it's really coming starting to come down. I'm surprised it's not sticking to the ground just yet. That's uh that's a little surprising. But we're gonna grab this last load. We do have enough to buy that field. We do not have enough to buy a tractor, but that's fine and dandy because we have in we have what we need for this next season. Uh, if I need more money, I can always, I do have these trees here. I can come, come cut down more trees. Which I may end up doing that next month. Just get maybe a few more trees cut down. Nothing crazy. I think we should have, I think it's eight, seven or eight left. Let's, uh, let's stop and count real quick. Just, uh, exactly, I'm not really sure how many we have. We have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight's over there. There's a few trees over here I can cut. Take this American Elm if I really want to, which I don't really want to. There's also a few trees up in that area that I can cut down. So I at least have eight trees that I can cut down and sell off next month over the winter. And that should give me enough money, hopefully, to be able to buy another tractor. I actually, I even wanted to look into the route of growing poplars, only because I do not have to replant them. They grow naturally once you plant them one time. So it's not something I would constantly have to replant, but something that I can harvest every year for wood chips. I just would have to get a uh, a cutter head and a wagon to haul it so we're going to get this sold get this sold off we're going to buy that other field as my game froze for some odd unknown reason I've been getting just over $6,000, 6400 and some odd dollars for every full load. The first two loads I, I took from these two greenhouses, they were not full loads, they were only 15,000 liters. And they were all just over $6,000 each. So I was getting good profit off of all my fields, or my greenhouses I should say. And that was 12000 liters and that let it be forty eight hundred dollars. Wanna make sure everything sold, everything did. Right, we're gonna go back over to my cows. I would also want to maybe instead of buying a poplar and start doing poplars, maybe I could uh end up buying something to wrap my bales. I don't know if I have anything in the store. Let's uh, shut this tractor down. Let me check real quick, because I'm now kind of curious. Bale wrappers. 125, oh, that's round. I do not have anything small enough for 125. Where everything round. I could try the mod hub. See if I can't find anything. Only because I have a ton of bales. And in just this little section I get a ton of grass. Plenty more than what I need to feed my cows. So I'm able to get rid of some of these and sell it to BGA plant. That would be great. I do have something 
where I can cut the bales up. But it doesn't... It, it doesn't really work right. Now, I had it in FS17 where it did work really great. But it does not work so great in FS22. So, let's go to the menu. We're going to buy field 56. Um... I don't know if I had anything printed on it. Um, so we're going to go up to one up here. Because I don't know if they ha it has anything painted on that. Field. It doesn't even show like it was harvested or anything like that. Let's go on up here and see what's going on with the field. Should be. Alright, so here it is. Mm. It doesn't have anything here. Oh, here's a collectible though. There's a collectible there. Any other collectibles? I don't think we ever explored up here before. Any collectibles over here? Aha! A dog or a cow. Alright, so let's go here. X. Bye. Alright, now we got three fields. Alright, we're going to call it an episode here, guys. And I will catch everyone on the next one. We're going to take the winter off because it's going to be... It's cut down some some trees. That's going to be the main thing. Uh, hopefully I can come back in the spring when we start planting. Not sure what we're going to plant just yet, but when we start planting... Maybe I might have some interesting news for everyone regarding this whole field, or not this whole field, this whole farm, the homestead, new products that we got, or otherwise would like to get, depending. I'm going to continue selling off our corn from our greenhouses. They've been, that's been giving us nice steady profit. So, I hope everyone loves this video, this episode. If you like it, if you love it, leave me a comment down below. Hit that like button. Let's be now, let YouTube know that you like my content. Which is out to other people on YouTube as well as let me know that I'm doing a fantastic job for your viewing pleasure. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And ring that notification bell. I am now on a set schedule. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I am releasing shorts at 10 a.m. On Wednesday, we got at 2 p.m. the this episode here, the Dairy Survival Off Grid Challenge, coming out. And on Friday, we got at 2 p.m. we got the normal buying the whole East Valley the map. So I hope everyone enjoys the rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.